I'm going to pick up on one thread you in there, thread you, um, thing you mentioned in there, which was, um, feeling ashamed of still being emotional, right? Still being affected by these multiple, multiple losses. Um, and right after you, right after you went through all of the losses you've experienced, you said, I know I'm a sensitive person. Being affected by even one loss is not a character flaw. Having multiple losses in a short amount of time and being affected by them is not being too sensitive, it's being human. A lot of people feel like, wait a minute, I've been doing all of the right things. I've been journaling, I've been going to see a therapist, I've been listening to myself, I've been doing this, I've been moving my body in the ways that I'm able, I'm doing all of these things. Why does it still hurt? I must be doing it wrong. Yeah. We do all of those things so that we survive, not so that it stops hurting. Right? Absence of pain is not a good metric of how well you're doing your grief work. Right? We do all of these things to stay in relationship with ourselves, to be able to find any breathing room whatsoever, especially when there's a fire hose of loss, man. Like, how, how will I live this, right? I will do this by staying in relationship with myself, by getting help, by meditation, by like all of these things, by becoming fluent in my own language, yeah? Mm -hmm. You'll have to respect the limits of your body, right? When you have a chronic illness and a chronic condition, like your body's going to win, right? So you, you have to respect your body's limits. But I, I think that there are ways to, again, that middle ground, right? Like grief knows what it's doing. I'm going to give it space. I'm going to be gentle and kind to myself and all of these things. That's one side of it. And the other side is, but I have shit I need to get done. And there are things that I want for myself, right? So instead of seeing those as opposites, we see those as two wheels on the wheelbarrow, the, the limits of my body and my capacity and the reality of this is hard and there are things I want for myself. So can we work together? Is there a way to work towards the things that I want for myself while respecting that I have limits at the same time? What would that look like, right? So that I think, not pitting those things as opposite needs, but pitting the yoking those two things as this is how we do life. <laughs>